Hey, welcome back to Seller at TV with your host, Seller at Addison Rex. So you may remember in last week's episode, we talked a little bit about racking barrels and how that's a process that has been used for centuries to filter wine and uh, clarify a little bit, make it more translucent, removing the sediment from the wine. Uh, but we get a little bit more high tech about it nowadays. And we use a process called cross flow filtration. And it's relatively new technology. Um, and it's a way to remove very, very, very small particles from the wine, including any kind of bacteria or leftover yeast. And it allows the wine to be incredibly crystal clear and uh, bright. So I'll show you around the crossbow machine, which is going on today. It's not a process that goes on every day at the winery. So it's pretty cool that we get a chance to look at it. So check it out. This right here is the crossbow machine. We're looking on a day-to-day -day basis. It's an expensive piece of equipment that's tricky to paint. And we don't really need to use it every day, a couple days out of the year, really. And in fact, uh, it's at the bottom of the year, a few weeks back. It's the exact same company that we uh, used to make the bottom of the So, uh, the end of these salads, we take a little bit closer look at it right now. So this is some of the guts of the crossbow machine. Um, basically, it works on a principle of reverse osmosis. So the wine passes through a tube, and then on the out that tube is basically the filter, and there's negative pressure on the outside of the filter, which causes it to leach through. And it runs through it many times until it leaches through all of the, the heavy particles. So um, you can actually change out the filters in different sizes, depending on what exactly you're trying to strain out. But It'll remove any solid particles down to 0.2 microns. I mean, that's tiny. That's the size of bacteria. So you can essentially move all bacteria and yeast from, from the wine, anything solid. Okay, so you can see there's two hoses. So it's getting pumped out of one tank, going all the way into the machine, filtered, and then coming all the way back and getting pumped into the other tank. So this is our cross flow technician, Ruben. Thanks How you for doing? coming on. And yeah. he's going to show us around on the inside of the machine real quick. This is just a touch screen right here. Yeah. All my controls. <laughs> Pretty high tech. Yeah. Really, I mean, it's all automatic. There's nothing really I do that labor intensive. <laughs> Better than the bottling line, huh? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, sometimes they're both the same. You know, the bottom line is going good. It's just a long, boring day. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the days are better when it's more eventful, huh? Oh yeah. Well, right now it's finishing up. I'm doing little loss right now. It's finishing it up. It's going through a concentration cycle, which is filtering it, the inside itself, filtering itself. So all the wines in the machine right now? Yeah. Okay. Fills up tank one, you know, with the dirty wine. So all the dirty wines up in here. Right. And all it does is recycle, just circulate, circulate mm -hmm. to the, the module, you know. What you see is the clean wine. Just circulates to this big pump here. Inside, spaghetti looking noodles. You know, and then out into this tank. So clean, clean wine in that tank. Yeah, so this, this is your clean wine tank too, and now it's your tank. And yeah, that's it. Pretty simple. Hey, no problem, no problem, anytime. Now you have the cross flow machine. You know, another example of how uh, the wine industry is continuously changing and uh, incorporating new technologies into the process. 
see you next week on Star Rat TV.